Sadhgan. I'm very happy with Sadhgan. As I know. What kind of a nonsensical, stupid, dirty leak? The ones that rock. God, manure, maniac, and manslaughter. What is it like to be Saad Khan? A day in the life of Saad Khan, not professionally, as a person. I am a diehard romantic, but that diehard romance is a now. Very LG type. Very much, very much. Actually, that's that's spot on. I don't know how. Are you stalking me? Uh. <laughs> Most of my romance is now moved away from tangibility. Now my romance is about books. movies observation people old people kids i see a lot of emotions there so i draw from that whether it's comedy sad uh, angry i draw the emotions from there i've had my heart broken so uh, it, it's beautiful to have your heart broken yeah trust me it yeah. is that's when you get to learn <laughs> yeah. so many things you learn and it's, it's yeah. a very rock star thing okay? yeah so i feel it's important and i think that that gives you a path it gives you a, more than a path i think it guides you to uh, not ex- expect I still expect a lot, but that's I think that, that's what a romantic would do. A I lot of human tendency. Yes. Human tendency. Yeah, it is. A lot of people say that. Oh my God, you shouldn't expect, but you are human. I'm a big fan of poetry these days. So Rumi and uh, I love reading quotes, and you don't have your voice to be loud for people to hear you. Okay, you know, with, with silence, inner silence is something great, something which is really great. Sound stuff like that. Silence. Sound of silence. Yeah, so, stuff like that, and then also the whole idea of why is it falling in love? Why can't it be sleeping in love? or this is a part of one of my films also that i'm working on why is it falling in love why is it not sleeping in love or standing in love spoilers. or or uh, yeah spoilers it's falling in love because you fall you fall from ego you fall from grace you fall from attitude you fall from uh, identity you fall from uh, purpose you fall from meaning and you just fall so that's what it is it's giving so when you're doing improv you're giving when you're making a film you're giving when you're talking to an actor you're giving and then the receiving happens organically so that's i think In a day, that's what I do. You do Q and A's with uh, Nagraju and Sotkon, right? That, that's how it's pronounced, right? He's ruined my name. Yes, <laughs> Sotkon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you keep doing it again, it's just going to be scary. It's a great name, and thank you, uh, Nagraju, for this. <laughs> in fact, on the, in the airport and stuff, people have uh, stopped me and said that's Sotkon, and my dad was just like, "Who is Con? Aren't we Con?" And you know, the whole epiglottis and all that. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's it's a character. I think I'm also playing a character there. I'm playing a dead guy with deadpan. expressions sarcasm and you try a lot to control your laugh and sometimes it's it's a little too hard to control because that, yeah, that yeah. is so funny all it's the time so funny i know but i think i've got i've also told a lot of people also told me that i control it well mm-hmm. so now i you should tell me whether i'm doing a good job or not the reason danish and i do the, these videos mm-hmm. is uh, because i think i don't know whether you noticed each of the video that you've done there is a socially relevant exactly. message he's playing the bad cop i'm playing the good cop exactly. uh, when he's playing the bad cop he's trying to we we both trying to remove out things that are there in the society that that are troubling us okay. as as individuals you know i think it's it's really helped a lot of people have talked about it a lot of people have shared it mm-hmm. uh, yes there is humor involved mm-hmm. but i think that's where my character comes in where i don't uh, let the humor be the object of conversation okay. i think i'll try to bring the object to whether it's cutting down uh, not cutting down trees whether it is uh, knowing why we are celebrating republic day mm-hmm. whether we understand the meaning of the Ra- karnataka rajotsava day mm-hmm. whether with uh, understanding that uh, you know all uh, all muslims are not terrorists or you know santa claus is not a terrorist <laughs> uh, so yeah it's 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 a, it's a great i think it's a great platform and i think danish's talent is unmatched in terms of improvisation i tell him that if there's any ever best improv actor award it will definitely go to him yeah. i any might be a pl- i might be a close second but yeah. any plans of uh, going for the awards improv awards i uh, know there, there, there isn't we have to come up with it i guess okay. yeah so we'll be waiting for that <laughs> hopefully yes how do you strike the right chord when it comes to a particular situation which is really happening for example it could be um, a particular incident so how do you blend it in with a bad politician and a sensible person that is you how do you do that danish and i write with the producer of the improv mars talk on the phone and okay. we we do the scene so i ask him the questions he, and then we we me improvise we build on it i don't think we ever spend more than 2 hours on a script and we both uh, quite read a lot we are very politically inclined so we read quite a lot we have information that we already have mm-hmm. and that we exchange and in that information exchange humor comes up danny and i we love puns we love punning i say you are backing away from the question he's like don't call me backward you know so he <laughs> completely turns it around if i say you are really really getting into my head but don't talk about getting in you being you being cheap spontaneous or like how, how while we so for example now like say for example give me an idea that you want a video on just any idea on the glass i know it's something say on water on on, con- water, on yeah, conserving okay, water yeah. on conserving water. water on saving water so then saving water then i'll ca- call da- da- danny danny and i will talk and mm-hmm. we'll be like okay so um today where where is water being being wasted mm-hmm. 
from a statistical point then we talk about that and then i'll be like mr nagaraj you are uh, you know you uh, you need to understand that what is really important you and get into the role yeah so yeah what is, is important and uh, and i ask him like like before we shoot do you know at least the chemical composition of water mm-hmm. he's like uh, yeah He's like, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> it's so. <laughs> it's the confidence. Of yeah, it's, it's the confidence of Nagaraj. And what happens is the best part is that because he's such a confusing character, people like to watch him. And because I am blocking that confusion, mm-hmm. people like to watch the camaraderie. Yeah, that's what it is. So how did you create the character of uh, Saad Khan in the Q and A, mm-hmm. and how did you create the character of Nagaraj? They so, blend in well. Uh, so na- that Danny obviously created that character. My character came from. I just re- realized in my mind that I have to just be like this the whole time, and I think once I do that, my lines automatically come because a lot of acting comes from emotion and expression. So if my expressions are right, then everything works. And if my sound is right, so my my sound. When I say sound, I mean like na- Mr. Nagaraju. It automatically comes an expression. So and a lot of my expressions comes from all the things that I see mm-hmm. in our country. which i don't like for example when indians when they travel abroad we are very we are very we are really weird like we are really weird because i've traveled abroad and i just happened to me once where i am couple who is uh, maybe in the middle mid middle age couple mm-hmm. they're trying to they are obviously never traveled on the on an international flight before mm-hmm. and they're trying to put their luggage in and an american guy helped them put the luggage in and they stood, they sat in their seats mm-hmm. and they kept on talking to each other and that man was just standing there and these guys didn't even say thank you to him And I stood over them, and I looked so at both of them. So my, I thought, I thought of that memory as an expression that, oh my God, what are they doing? So a lot of those things have helped me work on the character, which is what I see and what I really feel weird about. Like I see a bunch of young people uh, throwing some stuff on the uh, on the road, garbage, or uh, people spitting, or um, you know, a a a a, a, ma- a boy uh, misbehaving with the parents in public. Mm-hmm. And I stand over there like a bystander, and I'm like, you observe. Like, what is happening? that i bring to nagaraj you have started improv in bangalore so before bangalore it wasn't anywhere else in india right if i'm not wrong okay so how did you no there was there improv was. was happening we are the only improv group mm-hmm. uh, which has a holistic production system okay where we are the only show uh, a lot of other people who do improv also do a lot of stand up comedy is that but our improv show it is a complete full fledged production which is called the improv which invites people who come in and join us and join us as a team not on a part time basis but on a full time basis as as actors okay and we have a quite a good team right now earlier so we we started off in 2000 uh, 2012 but we've grown we've grown and uh, it's also been a journey i don't believe in being the not the only one or started first and this and that yes right now we are definitely one of the most popular groups in uh, in the country which which is working on live comedy improvisation which i think is great but a lot of other people are doing it and we love to collaborate at some point but i think also different groups have different uh, ideologies different working styles uh, but the one basic across the stream ideology for the improv or for improvisation is yes and accept and you know move forward uh, take the scene forward make the co-actor look good have fun on stage don't try to be funny stuff like that in india people expect or oh, it could be a film or it could be a drama it could be anything they expect it to be scripted but improv is the dead opposite of that so how did that uh, work out for you we've always been great fans of uh, whose land is it anyway and we've always watched that growing up a lot of people t- think that it's the same thing it's not it's like two like the genres are the same of whose land is it anyway and the improv but the stories are different the rounds we ha- or have new rounds being spontaneous and then adding funny into it and, and on the spot it's quite hard uh, we obviously work towards it uh, we interact with each other a lot Uh, there's a lot of giving, receiving, and as I've already mentioned, a lot of watching uh, visuals, reading a lot. A lot of people also say that it it is like stand-up comedy. It is not. Stand-up comedy is when you when you have a particular routine and you have a particular style and you have a particular uh, you know set. But improv, there's no set and everything happens right there. Uh, it's unrehearsed. The best part about it is that there is an energy, there's a constant give and take of energy between actors, okay. and as a host. Uh, when i'm taking situations from the audience my job is to just make sure that i'm a facilitator i'm a mediator sometimes i also go up on stage and do my bit but i think i'm not even half as good as all the other actors on stage so you i'm are the still host learning for most of the shows right all the shows yeah all the shows if i go on stage i do one or two small little scenes and come back mm-hmm. but we've got a great fantastic team danish seth sumuki suresh darai sunawala praveen raj abel matthews we've got an american in the team called timothy shows mm-hmm. we've got sal yusuf uh, who is uh, our youngest yet oldest member <laughs> 
who is uh, from the U from UK and who's been in B Bangalore for a couple of years now. We've got a great production team. We have a producer in an, an unbelievable producer in Mas Khan who's been who's taken this property in the last three years into the next level. Mm -hmm. Sumit Ghosh is another producer who's also mm -hmm. really really backed us up in every way. Chandni, who's an associate producer, who's all of 21, and we've got a bunch of patrons who who come with new new people every time for the show. We are the only improv group that has been listed on the Hollywood Improv Network about three months back. All this has happened in time. It's not just happened like that. You know, it's taken about four, three and a half, four years. But we're still learning. We just recently went to Sweden in the Sweden International Improv Festival, and it was, it was a dynamic experience. We learned a lot, watched a lot, we observed a lot, okay. uh, we took in a lot. We, we're trying to we're trying to up our game. We're trying to learn more. We're trying to also do a lot of workshops as actors to learn. Mm -hmm. Let's see where it takes us. I'll give you a couple of keywords. Uh, you could either form a poem or just you can give your own line on it. Anything will work. All right. Okay, the first word will be satire. What you see and what you hear may not be what you have seen and what you've heard. When I tell you, like, you ask me, sir, is my file ready? And you're, you're coming to the government office. Mm -hmm. Ask me if your file is ready. Is my file ready? Sure, it will be. I'll come back in some time. You want some coffee, sir? Uh, so I now left you hanging, right? Yeah. So, but you know that you're not going to get it. Yes, exactly, so exactly. You've seen and you heard, but you don't know whether you've seen or you heard. Exactly. Now I think that makes sense. Yeah, okay. it does. It does. Sure. Second one, hypocrisy. With great hypocrisy comes great responsibility. Oh, that's similar to Stanley's Spider-Man. <laughs> it is, of course, but it is. We are responsibly <laughs> hypocritical today. We are okay. so responsible about it. Everyone wants to do it. We have to be hypocritical today, at least once. Okay, next keyword is going to be sarcasm. Saad Khan with an exclamation mark. That's okay. sarcasm. I mean, what else can I say about sarcasm? Sarcasm is, there should be a school of sarcasm. We should be able to understand and learn it and then sort of implement it. By, by the way, so this one doctor met me the other day and told me that uh, you are an angry person because you're sarcastic. You have a lot of built up anger. That's why you're sarcastic. So I said, okay, maybe. What's the connection? Maybe. No, I think there is. I mean, a lot of people, uh, in fact, even if you go on uh, Google, and I actually went and Google and, and I found out that yes, there were many, many articles about people who are sarcastic. Mm -hmm. They have a, a, a bad childhood. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's what it means. Okay. <laughs> a, a really weird childhood growing up. They've, uh, they've not been uh, given proper food and oh. care while growing up. Uh, they have been con uh, they've been angry and they want to break walls and they want to create uh, barriers. I don't think I'm that person. So guys, whoever's watching this, I'm a mildly sarcastic person. Yeah, smile, not too much. Making it look like I don't want work here. I want work <laughs> okay. here also. I haven't moved on anywhere. I mean, I've just been lucky to uh, be able to direct a full-length uh, English feature film in the US. Mm -hmm. um, produced by a very dear friend of mine uh, called Dr. Jatin Patel. Mm 